What's up guys, it's Shakira Paris Thomas and I'm back at it again with another video. <laughs> I'm back at it again with another video and today I'm going to be telling you reasons why you're not ready to lock your hair. I've been locked for almost a year now. It's at the time I'm recording this, it's um April 6th. May 9th makes a year, so I'm almost at 11 months. So yeah. I think I know a couple of things about having locks. You feel me? Don't mind my hair. My hair was curled for Easter and the curls are falling and my hair looks kind of weird like right now. And I can't really talk right now. So, yeah. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe for more. And hopefully, like, you can gain something from this. You know what I'm saying? Because, like... <laughs> Okay, so if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my laptop. I have my list of reasons right here. It's not too many reasons, but these were the only reasons that I could come up with. So this video is going to be very informative, but short and concise and straight to the point. So yeah. <laughs> so reasons you aren't ready to lock your hair is because one, you don't know how to leave your hair alone. <laughs> If you don't know how to leave your hair alone, if you don't know how to just let it be, you're not ready to like your hair. Trust me. Because you're going to want to do every trending hairstyle. And like what I've seen from the past few months of me having locks, I've seen people get locks and then comb them out. And that's none of my business. That's their business. That's not my business. But like, I just feel like that's way too much work to like have your hair lock up and then just comb it out so i feel like if you cannot leave your hair alone don't get locks and if you always feel the need to style them again you just cannot leave your hair alone you don't need to get locks because your hair is going to thin out your hair is going to start falling out your locks are going to start thinning and it's not going to be cute so i wouldn't recommend getting locks if you're not going to leave your hair alone yeah <laughs> reason number two you intentionally try to cover up your locks when I say intentionally, I mean like you just cannot go out without your hair being covered up. Sure, like um, I'm pretty sure that like in that beginning stage, like you feel like, oh, like I'm not really ready. I'm not confident. And that's normal. But maybe I'm just speaking like from my perspective, because when I locked my hair, I didn't feel that way. I didn't feel like I had to cover my hair up. When I wore wigs, it was because I wanted to, you know, and I feel like when you wear wigs over your locks it should be because you want to not because you feel prettier doing that and this point goes into my third point which is the you are ready for locks if you believe in the ugly stage that's not a mm -mm, that's not a thing mm -mm, no that's not a thing if you believe in that you're not ready for locks i don't believe in that there's no such thing as an ugly stage what is an ugly stage <laughs> be so for real like, tell me what is an ugly stage. How are you going to talk down about yourself and you hadn't even got through the process? You wouldn't even start the journey yet. What do you mean ugly stage? I feel like if you have that mindset, you might not be ready for locks. Get yourself ready to get locks. Like, get your, get your confidence up. Get your this up. Get your that up. Talk positively about yourself. Like, why are you saying, oh, my ugly stage, da, da, da. You calling yourself, you calling your hair ugly? Like, that's so crazy to me. Like, there is no such thing as no ugly stage. So again, it ties into the second point. If you intentionally cover your locks up and you believe in the ugly stage, you're not ready for locks. And I think you should reevaluate why you want locks to begin with. And let it be because you truly want to and not because it's a trend or like, I don't know, like, that's something you need to figure out on your own. Because even like with loose natural hair, um, you have some people who only feel beautiful when their hair is long. And that shouldn't be the case. You should feel beautiful no matter what length or stage your hair is in. No matter what. And this doesn't even apply to locks. This applies to hair in general. 
Like, why are you calling yourself ugly? Why are you calling your hair ugly? If we being real, we black people as a whole, we always get picked on because of our hair and stuff like that. So why do you want to feed into that stigma that we hate our hair? Let's not. Let's not. So again, like I said, if you believe in those two points, you intentionally cover up your hair and you believe in the ugly stage, you're not ready for locks, period. <laughs> Number four, you aren't ready to lock your hair if you can't go longer than a month without a retwist or you feel like you always need a retwist. You don't need locks. You're going to thin out your locks before it even get to the point where it's going to lock up. Like your hair is going to be like, oh, what are we doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? Give yourself time. Give yourself time to get used to your hair in its natural state. Because when you have locks, your hair is in its natural state. Because when you don't comb your hair, especially if you have really coarse hair and tight, coily hair, your hair is going to lock up in general when you don't comb it. So embrace the natural stage of it and stop trying to always touch it or manipulate it or try to retwist it or have it neat looking also i wanted to say to top that off with the you don't need to always retwist your hair there is this idea that when you retwist your hair you're locking your hair like if you don't retwist your hair your hair is not gonna lock that's not true time and patience locks your hair that's what i really meant to say time and patience locks your hair your hair is gonna lock regardless if you don't retwist it if you always feel like you just need to retwist because of that reason as well you don't need locks your locks are gonna lock regardless your hair is gonna lock regardless when you don't comb it when you don't detangle it it's gonna lock <laughs> if that's what you want you don't need locks you might just need like you know faux locks or something like that that's what you need but you don't need locks you feel me because this is not a trend it's a lifestyle i feel so you know what i'm saying like <laughs> i also feel like people they hate like this frizz and stuff that their hair gets like they can't stand it if that's the case you don't need locks like if the frizz bother you too much to the point where you always feel like you need a retwist you just don't need locks i hate to keep repeating myself but you don't need locks Talk to you maybe about it. <laughs> Fight about it. Tussle about it. But that's just my personal opinion. And I'm saying this because I didn't have these problems when I started locking up my hair. Like, yes, I noticed the freeziness in my hair. But I never, like, oh, I'm ugly, da-da-da. I was just ready for my hair to lock up. I was just like, okay, like, we ready. Like, we locked in for real. I was just excited about the whole journey. I don't understand people. They just, they want locks and, like, they want it instantly. Like, they want it. And, I mean, that's none of my business. But I'm just saying you might not be ready for locks in general. Like, locks is not like a trend or nothing. Like, it's just about you letting your hair be how it was intended to be, how God intended it to be. So why are you touching it? Why do you feel like you always need to have it neat looking? If that's the case, why not just do that with your loose hair? You know what I'm saying? Why not just stay loose, stay a loose natural? I don't understand why I get locks. Just so you can create, you know, tension on your edges and stuff like that. Or, like, have, like, um, what's it, traction alopecia and stuff like that. Or, like, just have your hair thinning out and falling because you can't leave it alone when it's locked. Just don't lock your hair. I don't understand. So, yeah. <laughs> My last point is you're focused on the future and not the present. What I mean when I say this is that you're focused on what your locks are going to look like two, three years from now. You ain't even got to month five yet, let alone the first week of you having locks and you already thinking five years down the road. Enjoy the present. Enjoy the journey that you have now. Because honestly, I feel like when you get to a certain stage in your life, and this is with anything, when you get to a certain point in your life, you're always going to look back and be like, dang, like, you know. Like, this is really how I was. Or I kind of miss, you know, how this was and how that was, you know? Just learn to enjoy the present. Why are we worried about the future? Why are we worried about, oh, like, oh, my life's going to be down my back five years from now. Da-da-da. You don't know that. 
Like, your journey could take you completely somewhere different. Like, somewhere completely different. And you worried about the future. Why are you not worried about what you got going on now? And I feel like this is a thing that we all struggle with. But I feel like if that is what consumes your mind 24-7, you might not need locks. That's You need some reevaluation on that. You need to reevaluate, again, why you want locks. All of these points that I'm discussing is just about you just letting things be how they're intended to be, how God intended them to be. I don't understand why we're rushing the process. You feel me? You can't, you know, let your hair be frizzy, messy for a couple of months. If you always feel the need to retwist, if you're always covering up your hair because you feel ugly, you don't feel attractive, you don't need locks. Because if you can't, Accept how you are when your hair is short. You'll never be able to accept how your hair is longer down the road. You'll never be able to accept your hair. Because you're always going to be like, oh, I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied. Be satisfied with what you have going on now, if that makes sense. You feel me? Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm spitting. <laughs> I feel like I'm spitting. Like... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like I'm spitting. So, <laughs> anyways, that's it for this video. I just want to get on here real quick, try to get my tips. I know I kind of stutter a little bit, and that's my fault. And I know it was like some noise in the background. Please remember, I'm in school right now, so there's people around me. So, you know. And like this sunlight is really hitting right now, so you know, I'm trying to get in the sunlight. <laughs> Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Tell me what y'all want next. You know, I'll see y'all later.